This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Home Care. Okay, so think about this for just a second. Aside from mom, who is the one person that you can turn to when you're not feeling well? Doesn't matter if you're in school, doesn't matter if you're at home, at a medical clinic, or in the hospital with a serious injury, there is one person that you can count on to help make you feel better when you're sick or injured. Your nurse. And nursing has certainly evolved over the years. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, there are about 2.7 million nurses in America. And of that nearly 3 million, only 9% of them are male. But that number has tripled in the last few decades. In 1970, it was only about 3% of nurses, and about 66% of nurses work in hospitals. Now, a lot of people consider them unsung heroes. You, however, can change that. As a matter of fact, all this week we are celebrating all nurses on this National Day of Recognition. Joining us today to tell us more about it are Nancy Bagwell, who is the Maryland Branch Director with Peninsula Home Care, and Robin Kokenauer, who is the Director of Clinical Operations and Acting Delaware Branch Director with Peninsula Home Care. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Robin, i got to ask you real quick. The position of nurse has evolved over time. What's different about being a home care nurse? Mm -hmm. Home care nursing, uh, the specialty of home care nursing is the most, the thing that sets us apart is that we provide care in someone's home. So someone invites us into their home and we're kind of on their turf, not in the hospital where okay. we have control, they have control. So um, we have to think beyond just the task at hand. We have to think beyond what we're there to do, the wound care, the IV. We have to actually think about, can they afford to get their medication? How many steps did it take me to get into the house? So are they gonna be able to get out of the house? Oh um, is there a little dog that they can trip over? Is there, you know, we have to think beyond just that one physical thing that we're there. We think about spiritual things. We think about financial impact. We think about emotional things. So what we do is just so much, it's, it's just kind of a global look at the patient and really meeting all their needs and all those different dimensions. And Nancy, not only does a home care nurse have to communicate well with the patient and the caregiver, but they also have to have a good communication with the health care provider, is that right? That's correct, and as an interdisciplinary team, it means that we have specialty skills such as nursing and PT and occupational therapy, and so we have to reach outside those walls, as Robin indicated, and think about the whole person. So we have to work with the hospitals, we have to work with the physicians, the surgeons, the pharmacy, um, and sometimes even their spiritual leaders. Wow, there's a lot involved there. Okay, so tell me about National Nurses Week. How are we celebrating here on Delmar? Here on, we have been at Peninsula Home Care. We this year had um, a national um, nurses uh, week. Uh, it's kind of nominations and right. each branch there a group of their peers got together and nominated one of or several of the field nursing staff that we have and then we all got together and each branch um, elected a nurse of the year uh, for the first time and uh, so we're really proud of that and we're honoring them with some gifts and plaques and recognition and those those kind of things so it's very exciting wow. for us yes so tell us what's special about the nurses that you chose well, uh, for the nurses that we chose, they needed to be uh, look at how they, they were nominated by their peers first and foremost. So I think that says a lot about uh -huh. what they do on a daily basis. But we also looked at how they represent their profession, what they do in their community, and how they continue to evolve in their profession as well. Okay, so let's get to it. Who do we have? Okay, so for Maryland, yeah. it's very exciting. For Ocean Pines, we have Stephanie Carey. Okay. Stephanie has been a nurse for about 14 years. She's certified in chemo and also orthopedics. But the thing that's most special about Stephanie is her involvement in the community. She's very well known in Worcester County. People ask for her by name, and she's really passionate about what she does. So. All right, wonderful. All right, who's next? Um, for our Salisbury location that serves uh, Wacomico and Somerset, we have selected Christine Yingling. Uh -huh. She's been in nursing about 18 years, um, and she enjoys always just being able to go into the home and help. Uh, one of the great things that I'd like to share about her is um, she always looks to the caregiver as much as she does um, for the actual patients. And so she'll go above and beyond to make sure that they're able to provide services or do what the person needs as far as, you know, groceries or, you know, medications and wow. that kind of thing. So she loves seeing the independence come back. And your third. The third is uh, at Peninsula Home Care at Nanticoke in Seaford, and we serve all of Sussex County, and that is Gina Hammond. Uh, Gina's been with us in Seaford for five years. She's been a nurse for 18, um, specializing in oncology and geriatrics. 
Um, Gina is amazing. She uh, just is um, spends so much time with patients, that one-on-one -on -one connection and interaction for her. And she serves the community that she lives in. And for her, that is the highest honor. She you know, loves to, to serve neighbors and friends and, and just to, to let them know that, that you know, she, she's there to take care of them, whatever they need. So it's, she's, a, she's a pretty special person. Wow. Right. That is too Well, congratulations to all three ladies. And thank you. Thank you. For coming you. in and talking with us this thank afternoon. You. And if you would like to learn more about National Nurses Week or Peninsula Home Care, just go to our website, wboc.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. Okay, so something you may be nursing these warm days is your lawn. And if you're thinking about replanting, you may be considering whether you should plant grass seed or lay sod. Well, we're gonna talk with the experts to learn which is better. And there's another expert in the Delmarva Life Kitchen today. Chef Kevin from Abbott's Grill is here teaching us how to make salmon cakes with a mango chutney. But first, you know Delmarva Life is all about community, and that, of course, includes your community. Is there something going on in your neighborhood? Well, we'd love to hear about it and see photos from the event. Send the information our way, along with any pictures you'd like to share. You can reach us at comments at delmarvalife.com, or you can even like us on Facebook and share the information there. We'd love to see it. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.